Hey, what's up, good people? Hit the like button right now. Just hit it right now, right now, okay? And then for those of you that are new, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and hit all on that notification bell. We got a lot of new subscribers. This is a video I want you guys to be able to get ready to screenshot and take a lot of notes because this is where we begin to discuss our Weeble portfolio. I said Weeble. That is not right. I'm not editing this out. Moomoo. We're going to start our Moomoo portfolio. I got guests in the room. And as you can see, I got stocks with Josh. And this is going to be Technical Tuesday. But we are going to talk about crypto mining companies. We're going to give you some key levels and all of that. If you want to follow, make sure that you on this video, this will be the top link it will be the Moo Moo trading app. And just for putting in $100, for those of you that don't have it, just for putting in $100, you're going to get five free stock, up to 16 free stock, depending on your deposit amount, okay? And then, as usual, this will be the second link below. Uh, let me get this in the way now. Stock up you, Stock up University. A lot of you guys have signed up over the last few days. Make sure you take time to learn from all of us. Myself, Stocks with Josh, with Charting, Options with Keenan Grace, Basic Fundamentals, and Dividend Trading. Okay, Josh, say uh, hello to the people and we're going to go right into it. Hey, good people. I'm glad to be here today. We've got some great content. Larry and I have been talking and studying and looking at charts, and we're getting ready to deliver that to you guys. Thanks, Larry, for having me on. All right. We're going to start with, uh, as, as my, my buddy Zip Traders say, Mara, lovely Mara. We're going to start with Mara. All right. Let's go right to it. So now, Mara. Mara is one of the stocks or the crypto mining companies that are like my top two. Now, in the previous run, it was my top one, but I believe right now at this point, it's becoming two and Riot is becoming my top one, okay? So I just want you guys to see this. I'm gonna go through this right quick and then we're gonna bring up your computer. Now, we have Mara Digital Holdings. And we could see in the last month, it is down by 21%, right? But, but you and I sold what? At the top. As a matter of fact, there was a gentleman that followed me. For those of you that remember, I had options and Mara and Riot. We ran it up and I showed you guys in real time how I made enough to buy a full Bitcoin. But remember, anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. But there was a gentleman that I talked to uh, that emailed me that followed my plays and he put the same amount of money in and he did it and he made it enough to make, to buy a full Bitcoin, which he never had. All he was in were the micro coins and it made sense to him. Uh, so I'm glad that he put some into Bitcoin. Uh, he took all his winnings and put it into Bitcoin. So let's keep it going. And then I want you to chime in. All right. So we got Mara. All right. Uh, as you can see, it's down for the month, right? Then we have Riot which is becoming number one now, uh, but I'm still gonna, gonna stick with Mara. So we could see it's down by 13%, right? Then we have Hut, Hut Mining, okay? It's down by 18% today. Then here's one that a lot of you guys haven't uh, heard of, all right? And you can see Cypher Mining and it's down 21. And so you say, Larry, why are you pulling this up? What about Clean Spark? What about Clean Spark? Listen, let's not become fans of these mining companies. Let's see what's performing well. So here's why. Here's one of the things I want you to read. I literally pulled this up, Josh, and it is actually a top seven. And it shows you year to date. Remember when I did that video and showed people mm -hmm. how Clean Spark was actually the last performing performance, uh, best performing. And as you could see, you have BTF, BITF actually at 209%, right? You have Wolf at 211. And you could see Riot actually year to date at this point is what, number two, and then Mara, lovely Mara is number one. And then Cypher, look at this. Cypher is actually number one, right? And then Mara's number two, 
and Riot is number three at the time of this. And so, boom, if you look at that and we're going, we're going to go, we're kind of going to kind of bounce around. So I want you guys to take a lot of notes. If you look at this year to date, you could clearly see that Cypher year to date outperformed them all up by 266%. What? Followed by, let me do the numbers here. Oh yeah. Followed by Riot. Okay. And then Mara and then Bitfarms and then Hut. This is year to date, right? And so we're going to talk about some of the more popular uh, crypto mining Cypher companies. Cypher number one. Cypher is number one. And so that's why it's important for you guys not to fall in love with these crypto mining companies. Find out which one is performing because I like to be in the fastest moving what, Josh? You fastest moving car. That's it. Get out of the one and get into the other. That's it. Close you... the door on the one, climb in the front seat on the other. Yes. So, um, so what I want to do right now, and listen, I'm going to just tell you guys right now, I can hear somebody. What about Clean Spark? What about this one? What about that one? We're going to cover seven or eight, actually nine if you, uh, if you count them all. We're just going to cover some of these, right? We want you guys to pick the ones that you want, and then we're going to actually get our top five that I'm going to put in my portfolio in Moomoo but you don't have to choose them. I am. I'm going to put $500 a piece into five different crypto mining companies. Okay. And if you say, Hey, I want this in there. I want that in there. You do it in your portfolio. Right? So what I want to do now is we're going to discuss Mara, Riot, Hut, Hive. And you know what? We're going to discuss Clean Spark because I know you guys have it and you're going to want to talk about it, okay? Let's start with Mara, uh, Josh. Okay. Well, you know, Larry, can I take a, even a step back and uh, go into Bitcoin for just a brief moment? Yes. So we know that all of these miners are going to move when Bitcoin moves. And when Bitcoin moves, they move, right? It's like the tide that raises all the boats or lowers them. And right now, we have some uh, technicals that are mixed on Bitcoin. And uh, we've got the stochastic that's pointing up which could indicate that it's going to bring Bitcoin back up, having faked everybody out. But currently, it's still beneath a threshold that puts it into bear territory, which means that we don't have a confirmation that it's going up. If it were to go down, Larry, mm -hmm. okay, we have the fact that uh, I see support at 24K. Now, I, for, I've been talking about Bitcoin. We've both been chatting about it, Larry. Neither one of us has been wrong on Bitcoin. Correct. Uh, but there's a lot of bears out there that are still saying 10,000, 12,000. It's going to get there. Matter of fact, every single time I talk about crypto, someone uh, comments, I'll see you at 12,000, Josh. See you at 12K. Now, I'm going to tell you where I'm going to buy because I can't uh, make those decisions for each of you. You guys could be more conservative than me, but I see a ton of support on Bitcoin at 24K. Now you say, but we're talking about Bitcoin or the miners. I'm going to go buy the miners in a larger position size the day that I see Bitcoin potentially break down to 24K. And I think that window is going to be sooner before the end of this year rather than later. I 100% agree. And why is he going to buy the Bitcoin mining companies? Because they're going to outperform Bitcoin. I'm sorry, Bitcoin as far as how they perform. That's why. Absolutely. So with Bitcoin uh, not yet at that 24K, it's still could even move up over the course of the week. The whole markets and crypto could bounce. It's going to take time for it to get down there. And we know that come April of 2024 is the halving event. And every single time we've gotten to the halving event and beyond, Bitcoin has taken off like a rocket ship and gone into the markup phase. So we've got a little bit of time between now we're in, we're here, uh, Larry, we're going to get into October and then we're going to get into November and then December. And then the first quarter is going to move by very quickly. And I believe that when we get past Thanksgiving, 
Yes. We're going to get into that zone where maybe we'll have hit that 24K and where it's going to make more sense to do uh, some accumulation on these miners. Now, Larry, you and I, and I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you, you uh, played a big influence in me selling my miners when it went up to $20. When Mara and Riot went up to $20, yeah. I think you pulled the trigger first. Yeah. And I kind of had this 21, 22 target in there. And right. I thought, you know what? I'm going to think I'm going to sell some today. <laughs> And then I went, you had gone on your show and yep. said, I'm selling. The following day, I went on my show and said, I'm selling. And when we were doing that, Larry, right. you and I know that we both saw in the comments a ton of people saying, yep. I just bought a big pile. Right. When we were telling them that we were selling. We were selling. And I, and I said I was selling before I sold. Yes. I was like, I'm going to sell today. Now, the majority of these have pulled back 20%. Yep. And I'm going to give you guys some support levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, where would you like to start? You wanted to start well, with Mara? I, I'll tell you this. We're going to shoot through because we're already at 10 minutes. Okay. And we just, uh, make, uh, um, yeah, go ahead and pull that up before we do it. What I'm going to do is show them a screenshot. I want you guys to take your phones and I'm going to show you a screenshot of support and resistance. And we're going to come back to it. I just want them to see it. Okay, I want everybody to take a screenshot of this. Now, remember, this is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold or sell. We're just two YouTubers out here talking about what we think is going to happen. Happen. Now, we will come back to that. Take a screenshot. Snap. We will come back to that and we're going to quickly go through. Uh, we're already at 11 minutes. We're going to quickly go through support and resistance. All right. Can, can we you pop take up that? Screen? Yes. Can you take that entire screen from? No, what, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. From the top, grab it in the gray bar and move it slightly to the right. Is that going to mess you up slightly to the right? I can move this, by the way. Oh, yeah. But, but uh, part of the left is not. There you go. Now, let me see. Yeah, I want to make sure. There we go. Yep. All right. Well, let's just dive right into Mara. What I want you guys to see is the Mara chart with the Bollinger Bands on it. Could you, uh, one second, could you grab the left, bottom left hand corner, right? Bottom left and drag it down. All right. Not too much. Go back up no to the yeah look Aren't look we here some ocd here Larry? yeah no look yo look here i'm because i, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can see what the people are seeing there you go now straight down there we go and to the left a little bit there we go okay good people don't say <laughs> i oh you are interrupting josh i want you guys to see this clear absolutely protect me family hey let's get some hearts and some coffee cups in the chat let's go all right so i just want to point out this bollinger band and i want to point out to you that we're not sitting on it if you go back when we've had bearish moments in the past, you can see that we've come down and we've actually broken beneath it, right? And then we've gotten a little bit of a pop. And that's why on that chart that Larry had you screenshot, it showed price action. And what that was meant to illustrate is that when we come down and ultimately hit this support, right? Or even beforehand, we could at any given moment come back and test this middle moving average price. That's why on that chart you saw price action. The bottom line is this, if we're gonna be patient and we're gonna wait for this to come to support and we're gonna consider buying it at support, support for Mara that I see is right around $7. It actually was in there at $6.95, but I gave you seven. Even if it were to run back up to around $10, you wanna remember, we're just gonna, if we're still in a downtrend and Bitcoin hasn't bottomed out, then it'll just keep moving in this pattern until it gets to a bottom and reverses. So right now, we're looking at support on Mara at seven, the price action range, 825 to $10. You want to jump into uh, Riot, Larry? Uh, yes, let's go right into Riot. Let's keep okay. it moving. All right, so here I wanted to point something out to you. It's a little different than Mara. It's sitting on the bot bottom of its Bollinger Band. And so I don't necessarily assume that it's going to break down first to go to 684. Mara had some room down to $7, whereas Riot uh, tends to move slower. Remember, we've talked about the fact that Riot yes. moves slower than Mara. It does. And so it wouldn't shock me if Riot decided to come back, back test the middle of its range. But ultimately, I'm going to be a more confident buyer at $6.84 and when Bitcoin is falling a little bit more at 24K. And if they happen to coincide, that's what I call confluence, Larry. It yes. gives me a little bit more confidence. And I'm thinking, hey, what? Bitcoin's at 24K, riots at 684, maybe 675. Yep. That's where I'm going to be a little bit more confident and take a position. There you go. Let's go to the and next And then one. let's look at HUT. Let's look at HUT. Let's see here. Let's look at HUT. So HUT, you can see, it has a similar chart to Mara, and it is slowly bleeding off. And so it wouldn't shock me if we had a capitulation moment down to 170 before going back up and testing this range. Don't get the FOMO. The fact is, 
We, this was behind us, we're down 20%. We're coming along these ranges of support. You can see that 170 coincides with an area of strong support, but look at how it broke down even lower than 170 before. So, you know, we could actually literally come 170 to 140. You want the best possible price, but my area of entry where I'm gonna buy something when Bitcoin pulls back, I'm gonna buy some at $1.70. There you go. All right, let's and, go to Hive. Uh, you got Hive in yes, there? Yes, sir. Hive is similar to the Mara chart. It's not sitting on the bottom of its Bollinger Band yet. You can see that it, whenever it comes down and touches the Bollinger Band, guys, you can see that when it touches it, we get a little bounce. Came down, skimmed the bottom, got a little bounce. We've come down, we've yet to even touch it. I see room down on Hive to 270. I think we get a little bounce from that point, and I'm going to be buying around 270. All right, all right. Do we do a new clean spark? Clean spark. Let's go ahead. All right, and the clean spark people are thinking, oh, thank goodness, Larry, thank you for not <laughs> skipping clean spark. So clean spark's touching the Bollinger Band. Um, you know, again, remember, and it comes down, spends a little bit of time touching, we get a reversal. Spends a little time touching, we get a reversal. We're currently touching a reversal. Wouldn't shock me. But again, between now and the end of November, I still think we're going to see Bitcoin pressure, and I still think we might see the opportunity to buy at 340. And then someone will say, Josh, it never got to 340. I put my buy order in at 340. It hit 350. And now it's taken off like a rocket ship. You were wrong. Guys, that's what I'm giving you is support. support. There's no guarantee that it's going to get there. But if you're being a conservative buyer and you need to choose to buy somewhere, we've given you support on all of these stocks. Yes. Those are the ranges in which if these levels break down and the macro environment remains bearish, those are potential buy zones. And I gave you the price action so you wouldn't be fooled by the movement up or down. Right. There you go. So listen, you could rewind this video and you could watch it over and over again. We're going to end it right here. Listen, tonight, are we going live tonight on we Keenan's are. page? Yes. We're going live tonight on Keenan Grace's page. I invite every single one of you to watch it. We will be live streaming this evening. Uh, we just look out on his page for the time. All and right? there's a special yeah. guest. I won't say who it is. Oh, but we got a special guest a coming. Special guest. Special there. guest. All right. Listen, good people. These are the numbers I want you to just, if you're on your phone, just screenshot it for now. Now these change, okay? Anything could change either one of these. Now these May support and resistance, that? yes sir. Yeah. Josh, you just interrupted me. The people <laughs> are gonna get on your case. I thought I would no, explain, no. Larry, why yeah. they change. Cause Please. you know, so they're changed because, and how did I come up with them? Those are moving averages. And so every day, that's why we have the price action. The price action, as it fluctuates up, it's going to bring up the moving average. As it fluctuates down, it's going to bring down the moving average. So it's a targeted range. Keyword being moving average. There you go. Okay, so you got to It's like you're trying to catch up to the fastest moving car and get in. Exactly. It ain't going to stop for you. Exactly. All right. So I just wanted Josh to be able to get everything in. I, I did everything on the front end, so we're not interrupting each other. So, but we wanted to... The, the end of the day, we just want you guys to have all this information That's right. That's right. and uh, make sure again, make sure that number one, you check out uh, stock up you. That's going to be the second link below. Then for those of you that have moved Moo and have not funded it, please go ahead and fund it uh, a minimum of a hundred dollars. But I am going to start out with twenty five hundred dollars me. And, and then I'm only going to have five of these crypto mining companies Larry, at 500 Larry, will you let people piece. know when you make those purchases in the Discord? Absolutely, because you're going to help me. This That's is going right. to be our joint thing, all right? All right, so listen, good people, we're going to leave it right there. I always end with live, love, laugh, and learn. And I just want you guys to know that I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Like again, I said, we don't see you as a number. We see you are, uh, as people, individual people. Josh, go ahead and say well, goodbye. Individual people that we've had the pleasure to meet over the, over the recent meet and greet. Thank you guys yes. for coming out. It was a blast. Peace and blessings to all of you. Peace.